back in the garage again. <laughs> I think that's going to be my saying, back in the garage again. Um, so I'm just working on the driver's side uh, pillar and the frame rail part. I've actually started on the frame rail part um, from when we pulled out the key member and stuff like that. Took the door off. Um, so I've actually made progress because... This is the same day after the last video, so I'm still out in the garage today. Um, but, so, it was pretty rusty here, just like the other side. Um, I've cut the section out. Unfortunately, it's rusting under this panel too as well, about maybe that far back. So my options are, do I drill it out, patch it underneath, or do I take this section out? And as you can see, I've kind of pre-tailed some pilot holes. So I'm gonna to try to take this section out so we can replace the rust. I, I don't want rust. So we're gonna go as far as we need to fix it, right? So that's what's happening today is I'm about to drill this out, this piece. You know, I'm getting to the point where I was like, maybe I could have found a lower cowl piece and replaced the whole thing, but that's a lot of work. I gotta take this off, drill out everything. So if I can get this piece out, make a piece up high enough that's got no rust because around here is good here's good this is good i have to fix a little spot that's here but that's no big deal i could probably fill that with weld and then um like i said get a new piece in here so it's nice grind it off more clean and then go from there i still got to take off this side piece so we can start cutting away with this but i kind of got distracted with this stuff right now so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm just gonna get set up. I got a feeling drilling it out, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, just like it was to get this side off. It was it was harder than that side. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, that's what's happening today, guys. We're gonna get this piece out. I don't know if any of you have ever removed this piece. I haven't, that's why we're gonna film it. I said I wasn't gonna film this side, but we're getting into something that I haven't filmed yet and I haven't seen. So we're gonna start getting this piece out. So I've drilled out every pilot or uh, spot weld spot I could see all here. There's three up in here. So what we're gonna do is, um, see, I think there's one more right there. So maybe another one right there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start drilling them out and uh, we'll be back. I'll give you updates if there's any issues, okay? I drilled out uh, the piece. Here it is, okay? Um, got it completely out of here. Now I can access, you can kind of see it's weak here. So I need to cut across and down to there and then that's the section that we're gonna put in. Now. It was a lot of work just because of this little rust right here, but I can't get behind the second plate there. So it's just gonna, if you just go over, it's just, it's just gonna rust again, guys. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, it looks pretty good other than that. As you can see, it's all pretty decent. This piece, it needs a little bit of cleaning in a few spots, so I'll clean it up and uh, we'll put it back on. Um, but I'm gonna take a break. I gotta go, seeing I got this far, I gotta go get some beverages, you know what I mean? The good ones. So uh, we'll go do that and then we'll come back and uh, clean it up. Like even under that piece, there's a little bit of surface rust there. So it's nice to kind of, it sucks that we have to do it, but at the same time, you know, we're going to make it nice. And that was my goal. I don't want to half assed it. You know what I mean? So, you know, I got the welder now. I'm starting to feel more confident with what I'm doing. And, you know, it's crazy that I'm, I'm this far apart with this car. This is insane, right? Um, guys, I've never done this stuff before, ever. Even welding, like a handful of times in my whole life I've done welding and never done flux core welding but like, I'm not doing that bad. I've got a lot of compliments, which is pretty cool. So, you know, that gives me um, 
positive feelings about tackling this stuff and just digging in. You know what I mean? Because, like, you look, there's a big hole over there now. It's like, I can't, you get overwhelmed sometimes. Like, I can't even believe I'm doing this. You know what I mean? And then I look at that side and I was like, look at that. That's, it's nice now. So, like I said, I'm going to go run down to the LCBO, get me some beverages, and uh, we'll be back. We're going to clean it up, cut it out. Um, hopefully, I can get this patched up today. I'm hoping. I'm just uh, going to get this cleaned up. I'm going to start making this uh, this metal. I'm going to cut it a bit more here, up and down, all the way back to there. And then we're going to clean this all up. Excuse me. Man, whoo. Beverages, eh? And uh, clean it all up, get it nice paint it, put the piece of metal in, and then start putting it back together. You know what I mean? This piece, like I said, came off pretty easy. It's had a couple little quick welds on it for some reason. I don't know why, but something busted there anyways. That's an old car. So yeah, we're making progress here, guys. This is a lot more than I thought I would do, but you know, there's a first for everything, right? <laughs> so I have the area cut out, um, just cleaning it up a little bit. I just wanted to show you where I'm at with it. So pretty much got all the rotted metal out. Um, I'm just kind of grinding this up. We're gonna put down some uh, rust protector spray, right? Get it all cleaned. And then uh, we're gonna start making our piece. I have this piece here left. So it should cover this area and then uh, we'll uh, be done with this. Then we can start assembling all this back together, at least the inside piece. And uh, I won't put the outer piece back on until I've finished the door pillar, or at least the upper part of the door pillar anyways. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use cardboard. We're just gonna make it kind of connect over here, kind of make it fold down the same and uh, hopefully it turns out nice. I feel better because now the rust is not on the inside here. It's nice and clean and I can just seam seal everything and be comfortable that I know that I got the rust rot out. You know what I mean? So um, instead of just slamming it together, you know, I probably could have just patched it up. Like I said, we're gonna try to do it the best as we can so it lasts as long as possible um so yeah so i'm gonna start making this piece i'm not gonna cover that because obviously i've done this already um but i'm gonna get this together and then we'll be back when we're putting um this piece back in so i'll have to clean this up a little bit and paint it as well and uh we should be good all right, guys, so we're on to the next day here. Um, I got the patch in the bottom right here. Came out pretty nice considering um, I primed the new piece that's going to go back in here, uh, cleaned up the surface. We're going to have to do some um, massaging and banging because I did have to bend to get it out. So we'll have to try to get it back in its original position as much as we can um first off before we get started i want to say we finally hit 500 subs last night or this morning um so thanks a lot guys i've been dying to get here forever it's like a hill you know i've been trying to climb so i appreciate everybody following along um you know thanks a lot i really appreciate it so uh i've been waiting for months to get here so <laughs> so we finally made it to 500 thanks guys and uh yeah so i'm just gonna start i'm gonna clean up a bit because obviously i'm out of control here um and then we're gonna start putting this piece back in and then get this uh frame beam back on i think we can put it back on with i don't have to worry about anything that i'm doing on the door jam like i said i did cut it all out so it's all cut. I'm gonna have to do some grinding. Um, I gotta see what I'm gonna do about here. I think there's some rust behind this, so I might trim this piece off, drill out the weld, and uh, 
clean up behind there as well. But uh, I got to pick up some more metal this week. So we'll do that later in the week. Um, but I will show you when it's done. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're just going to get this back in. I'm charging the GoPro because I want to try to use the GoPro a little bit um, as well. And that's pretty much it. I might clean up this before I put the piece back in just to make it easier for me to have it prepped for when we go to paint it because it's all flaking anyway. So I'll get the grinder in there, the pad, and just clean it off so it's ready to go for when we paint it. I did ding the corner here when I was trying to hammer this off. It doesn't look too bad, but yeah, that's where we're at. This piece, which I primed and cleaned up, it goes in here like this. So now we got to jam it back in and I've obviously had to bend this out of the way when I was doing it to get it back in so we have to push on it a bit to get it where we need it to be um the biggest issue is going to be here we got to make sure it's all the way back so you can see how off it is right now we got to get it back okay so it sits in the right spot the other issue is, is I did bend the crap out of this so we got to make sure that this is going to sit where it needs to sit and then uh, uh, so we don't have no problems. Um, so where's my hammer at? Where's my hammer? See, this is why I should have cleaned up like I said I was gonna, but I didn't. So what we gotta do is try to get it back more. We're just gonna tap it pretty close right here. Um, I'm gonna get the rubber mat. Give me one second. All right, guys. So. I had to beat this corner down here a little bit more because this wasn't going this wasn't going back as far. I also came in, I beat this straight as best as I can. So we're gonna slide this back in. We're gonna have to jam it in there. And then uh Okay guys, so I got it back in here. I got disrupted by the wipe. Um so it's really hitting the bottom here really good. So I'm gonna have to get in there right in this corner here um, and beat it down some more. We don't have much more to go, but we want it to line up right in the same spot, right? So that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. Uh, so I'm gonna pull it back out. We're gonna give it a couple little taps from the ball peen here and with my ball peen and uh, we'll get it right where it needs to be. It's really close. So we're gonna pull it back out somehow there we go and then you can see where it's scraping so we're just gonna get in here like I said I made this piece so you know sometimes we just gotta do what we gotta do Once we get it sitting nice, then we'll come in and we'll repaint everything, right? And uh, we'll go from there. So, let's see. Ooh, it's starting to fit a bit nicer. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, it's so close now. But look at how much closer it is now. So a couple more taps guys, and we'll be set. So I'm just gonna do that because it's harder holding the camera and we'll come back when it's in place because then we're gonna start tacking everything in. Okay guys, so got it in place. Everything's lined up pretty decent. The hole's pretty center. I just gotta push on it a smidgen to get it to exactly where it needs to be. Uh, same as the front here. We're gonna probably have to just tap it a little bit. Like I said, she, uh, she was tweaked a little bit, so I'm not expecting it to be exactly, I think this is bent in just a smidge as well. So I might pull it back out just to bang this piece out a little bit, because me prying it probably bent it a bit, but like I said, it's looking pretty decent in place i'll have to bend this tab back um but it's all in all 
starting to look pretty nice, guys. All right, so yeah. So I'm just gonna pull it back apart, just try to straighten this out a little bit, and then we'll be back when we're well. All right, guys, so we're just gonna throw a couple tacks in right now. I got you set up. I know it's not the greatest view, but I don't have many options to set you guys up on, um, unfortunately. So, uh, I know it's a super huge mess here too, but we're gonna do our best to kind of get you a, a decent look at a few of the tacks I'm gonna pop in here. And uh, so you can kind of see that I'm definitely doing this. And okay, I got my helmet. So we're just gonna throw Right there. Tacks. Okay. I'm push on this one a bit. There we go. It's another tack. <sighs> Gonna get it. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Got an adjuster. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right, guys. So, it's tacked in place, it looks like. Let's see how this works. Still got to get the bottom up there. This will have to tweak after. Um, we got it tacked in pretty good right now. Um, we're just going to tap down on some spots and finish. Uh, getting it all tacked in and then uh it'll be done we'll paint it black on the inside and then we'll be ready to put the the outer piece back on so so i got the piece tacked back in um i gotta do some fine tuning like cleaning up on some of the stuff that's on that will be sort of visible um the nice thing is the fenders kind of cover most of it uh except for down here i'll have to deal with that but pieces back in look at that all painted looks pretty decent guys i'm pretty happy with it all in all so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna prep this piece here get it back in i'll probably time lapse you hopefully the gopro is um charged now and uh we can get you some time lapse of me tacking that piece back in it's gonna look good um just considering how it looks right now, it's a uh, piece is nice in there. Like just how it's looking right now, that's, that's pretty good for me, man. So, you know, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So I'm just gonna prep that piece and uh, hopefully we can set up a time-lapse of me putting the this outer piece back on, like on this side. Look at this. This side, if that side looks like this side, man, that's, pretty good restoration on the front and the doors and then you know essentially we're moving on to floor pans guys so uh, once I finish that side so I'm pretty pumped so GoPro's not fully charged yet but I got the piece tacked in right now um, almost ready to uh, finish tacking it all the way in and then uh, 
And then we're done. Uh, let's throw some fresh paint on it. And uh, we're good. So, yeah. So hopefully, I'm going to check the GoPro, see where the battery's at. Hopefully we can just set it up quick because I, I have a suction cup. I could stick it to the window and we can have it right there. Do a quick little time lapse at the end of the video. And it'll be sweet. And then we can, uh, this week I'm going to pick up some more metal because I don't think I have enough... Yeah, I only got this big a piece left for the 16 gauge. So I don't think it's going to be enough to, to do even one of those pieces there. So I'll have to pick up more metal this week. And what else? Yeah, that's about it. So I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now All right guys, so a little time lapse of the piece going on. I painted it, that's how it looks now. Pretty sweet, all nice in here. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. So threw a little primer on there because there was a little surface rust. So I just cleaned that surface rust off. Kind of threw a bit of primer on there for now. Um, but coming together pretty good, like I said, all I gotta do on that side is fix the door hinge now and then uh, deal with the frame rail, uh, which will probably be the next video. And uh, then we can start working on floors. You know what I mean? I'm hoping it's gonna warm up soon so I can get the car out and flip it around because I only have the driver's side floor right now. So um, that's kind of where we're at. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch you on the next one.